Greetings once again from the COVID cave. Uh, let's see. <laughs> some triads in the key of D major. So if we take the key of D major, it has seven notes in it. And at the start of each of those notes, you can make a, a chord. So the first note, I start with the first note, I take the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale, starting there, and I get a D major. Which is D, F sharp, and A. Then if I start on the second note of the scale, and I go the first, third, and fifth note from that point, I get an E minor. G and B. Then I start on the third note to the same thing, and I get an F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, and C sharp. If I start on the fourth note, I get a G major, which is G, B, and D. The fifth is an A major, which is A, C sharp, and E. The sixth is a minor, which is B minor, and that would be B, D, and F sharp. Now wait a second. Two is a minor, three was a minor, and six is a minor. Two times three equals pi divided by the quadratic embolism of mutation. I'm not sure. Anyway, so six was a minor. Now no, our normal seven, the seventh note of the scale, if you go one, the, take that, and then the, the third and the fifth note from there, you get a minor flat five. <laughs> which is pretty classical sounding. And you'll hear it in jazz and classical, neoclassical, occasional blues kind of stuff, but in pop music, popular music, like, you know, classic rock and pop music and all that. Now, hip-hop tends to be a little bit jazz-oriented because of the R&B influence in hip-hop. Some of it's like real pop influence, so... Anyway, in pop, you're going to hear a flat seven as a major. <laughs> Instead of that, 7 minor flat 5. Like, imagine if I played Sweet Home Albuquerque with a minor flat 5, it would sound like this. Sweet Home Albuquerque. It doesn't work. But if I play the flat 7 as a major, Sweet Home Albuquerque. Yeah, then it works. And that chord progression has been used countless times. I can't count that high. It's more than 17, I know that. So, um, it's really fun if you slide into these things as a riff. Now, there's a pattern here that's really important. Um, we have one major, then two minors, then two majors. Let me do this. I'm going to take the fifth note off of it, so that it's, instead of a triad, it's going to be a dyad, two notes. I'm going to take the first and the third of each of these notes. So the first is a, a first and third would be, the first one's a major, then we have two minors in a row, then two majors in a row, then two minors in a row, back to a major. Let me get a more mellow sound here. So that's like really good for uh, like Tex-Mex music. squirrel that song starts with this kind of stuff and this is really good for filler stuff if you need to do some fills someone's chug along on D and go and as it moves so it's really good 
So anyway, that pattern of one of these, two of these, two of these, two of these, that one, two, two, two pattern happens a lot on the guitar. Um, you might know this A7 chord pattern um, from Heartbreaker by Led Zeppelin. Hey. <laughs> first chord, the A7th, is actually part of a twofer, because there's one here, then there's this. So this is the first odd one. So we have one of these, two of these, two of these, and two of these. As you can see, I'm playing 12, 12, and 14, 14, which is just like 0, 0, and 2, 2. So this is our first odd one. One of these, two of these, two of these, two of these. Now every time you have two in a row of the same shape, you can play the one in the middle, like this. Um. But if you played the one in the middle by itself, it sounds like this. Bloody hideous. Yuck. So don't play that unless you're in passing through. It's one of those towns where you don't want to stick around, you just want to pass right through. Same thing happens down here in E. This is actually part of a twofer as well. So this is the first odd shape. We've got two of these, two of these, two of these. And that's where we started down here. So again, when you have two in a row, you can play the one in the middle. But the one in the middle by itself, man. Just don't play it. Don't do it. Just play it as a passing chord, that's fine. But if you land there, get out of there quick. You know, play it twice so they think you meant it or something. So it all it's all really based on this uh, this triad stuff. These are obviously based on seventh chords. But it's the same pattern of that one, two, two, two thing. This re reappears in the guitar a lot. So Hopefully this will help you out with uh, understanding the notes of a scale as well. Um, first is major, second is minor, third is minor, fourth and fifth are both major, sixth is minor, two seven three equals six, and then the seven is a minor flat five. Unless you use the altered seven, a flat seven, which is a major. Stay safe. See you soon.